Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about fatigue and autoimmunity. So this type of fatigue is fatigue that you can't fix with rest. It is what it is. Before we get started, I wanna mention my Patreon account again. I just started this and it's just a way to help support creators that you love. It's a monthly subscription and it's a way for me to connect with you. There's different tiers. The first one's just for support. The second one you'll see has a few little perks. I'll be posting live discussions on there for you all on Patreon specifically and also allowing you to make some choices with videos that I post. I'm looking forward to getting this started and yeah, thank you. The American Autoimmune Related Disease Association did a survey with almost 8,000 participants and they all had autoimmune diseases. 89% reported that it is a major issue for them and 59% reported that it's probably one of the most debilitating parts about an autoimmune disorder. It's funny because we kind of just push fatigue aside. We talk more about the joint pain and the rashes and the things that more people realize are actual symptoms. Fatigue, we're kind of like, uh, everyone says, I'm just exhausted, I'm tired. It's been a long day at work. But with an autoimmune disease, it's a lot different because we go to sleep and we wake up with, like that anyway. With an autoimmune disease, it's different because we go to sleep and we wake up like that anyway. It's like we ran a marathon in our sleep, if you haven't heard that before. One scary fact that I read, and I'm gonna read it word for word so I make sure I get it for you all, was, Chronic debilitating fatigue is a major cause of morbidity in patients with SLE, lupus. That decreases quality of life and increases work disability. The aerobic capacity of patients with mild SLE is comparable to that observed in patients with a severe cardiopulmonary disease. That is scary. That basically means that those with lupus are so dang tired and I'm sure with other autoimmune diseases, it's equal to that they can't work out, get into shape, and do the things that create a healthy quality of life, you know? So let's get into our reasons for fatigue. The first big one is inflammation. Of course, our bodies are being attacked constantly, and it's not just causing the joint pain, but overall, it's causing fatigue in our body making us tired all the time. Our body is constantly overworking, trying to fight off our own tissues. Instead of fighting our immune system, our antibodies are attacking our cells and tissues, and it's acting just like we're fighting off the flu or a cold. That's why our bodies are so dang tired, because we're constantly fighting off that foreign invader that is our body. They found that in people with autoimmune disorders, they had an increased pro-inflammatory cytokines within the bloodstream. A way to check this would be to check your different inflammatory markers, one of them being sedimentation rate. That'll keep track and show you how high or low the inflammation is in your body. Another reason for fatigue could be anemia. There are different levels of anemia. There can be because you have decreased iron or even decreased levels of B12 that which decreases folate, which essentially can decrease your production of red blood cells. There is also the anemia that I recently got diagnosed with, which is hemolytic anemia, and that's the destruction of your red blood cells by your antibodies. So, anemia, yeah. Less blood, it's gonna make you tired. Less oxygen, you know, makes sense. Another reason for fatigue, stress. If you're stressed out, of course, I feel like anyone's gonna get tired and worn down. So it's important to try to eliminate that in your life. And the last one I have on here is anxiety and depression. So a lot of people with lupus and other autoimmune diseases will develop anxiety or depression. I think the stat's like 50% or something. Those are two things that are exhausting on their own. So adding that with an autoimmune disease, it's, it's gonna cause you some fatigue. So how can you improve your fatigue? Basically, it's not just gonna go away, but the best thing you can do is make sure you're on a good treatment plan with your doctor or specialist and treat the condition. There are some supplements that they said in the article that I read that are helpful as well. I will link that article down below. These supplements included, uh, I don't know how to say this first one, but I'll put it up here. This one, coenzyme 10, turmeric, and omega-3s were all listed on there. Again, talk to your doctor first. 
This one is harder for some to achieve, which is exercise. Exercise is going to give you a boost of energy, even though it doesn't seem like it, but finding the right regimen is really gonna help you out. I don't mean go out there and run two miles. I mean, start with walking, stretching, light yoga. Find something that works for you and your body and it will make you feel better, I promise. Another big one is knowing when to say no. A lot of times we push ourselves and do too much. Cooking, cleaning, making everything organized, even going out when we're too tired or going to the grocery store. Sometimes we just have to say no to our own body. We have to say no because we're just too dang tired or even saying no to loved ones and friends because you need that rest. Pushing yourself is not gonna help the problem. As I already mentioned, stress, decreasing stress is gonna help with that. So that's, that's a whole monster and sometimes it's hard to control, but meditating, just working on getting a good sleep schedule, taking care of yourself, a healthy diet, they all play a role. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video on fatigue. I'm surprised that I haven't talked about fatigue in depth like this before. I wanna know in the comments below how you all experience fatigue and things that you do to help combat it. I hope you all are well and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and get notified. And I'll see you next time. Bye.